ऐसी हवा बहेगी उज्जवल उज्जवल होगा कोना कोना निर्मल होगा विश्व कहेगा जय भारत जाग उठेंगे भाग्य हमारे स्वच्छ बने We are proud to be a country of many faiths. And we celebrate festivals with great enthusiasm. But we forget that all religions tell us to protect the environment. Instead, we do the exact opposite. Realize immersing idols made of toxic material during festivals like Ganesh Chaturthi or Durga Puja or indiscriminately dumping animal waste during Eid ul Zuha can contaminate the environment and create health hazards for all of us? Well, the Garden City of Bengaluru is showing how we can claim back celebrations in the way religion always wanted us to. It is taking a step forward, so festivities and saving the environment go hand in hand through a 360 degree information, education and communications campaign. Just watch this film to learn what Bengaluru has done. In recent years, several citizen groups in the city of Bengaluru work closely with the Bruhat Bengaluru Mahanagarapalike or the BBMP towards better festival waste management. A key reason for this was the increase in awareness. The BBMP worked on a systematic plan to create large-scale awareness. This included audio announcements and posters during the run-up to Eid ul Zuha or Bakri Eid to make people aware about the proper disposal of animal waste. So even Bakris also we have been uh, having in various spaces where a large amount of animal waste is generated. We have had provided micro vehicles where they uh, pick it up and then they're scientifically dumping instead of uh, dumping it in some lakes or some water bodies or things like that. Simultaneously, BBMP worked closely with citizen groups for ensuring that the Ganesh Chaturthi idols were immersed in specially created tanks and not in the lakes of Bengaluru. The celebrations were full of fervor and some 63,000 idols were immersed in these specially created water tanks instead of the lakes of the city. BBMP was also successful in convincing people to use idols made of clay rather than painted plaster of Paris. Importantly, even the Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi, in his Man Ki Baat message, has stressed on using clay idols. Mere pyare deshwasiyo, Ganesh ji vigna harta hai. Aur hum sab chahe ki humara desh, humara samaj, humare parivar, humara har vyakti, uska jeevan nirvigna rahe. क्यों न गांव के तालाब की मिट्टी से बने हुए गणेश जी का उपयोग न करें पीओपी की बनी हुई प्रतिमाएं पर्यावरण के लिए अनुकूल नहीं होती हैं फेस्टिवल वेस्ट इज ओनली वन रिजल्ट ऑफ एन इफेक्टिव इंफॉर्मेशन एजुकेशन एंड कम्युनिकेशन ड्राइव अंडर द स्वच्छ भारत अभियान और द क्लीन इंडिया कैंपेन व्हिच द प्राइम मिनिस्टर श्री नरेंद्र मोदी लॉन्च्ड ऑन द 2nd ऑफ अक्टूबर 2014 वेस्ट सेग्रीगेशन इज अनदर
So let us take a look at BBMP's larger approach and how municipalities can achieve important milestones in their mission to keep India clean by effectively employing a sustained information, education and communication or IEC campaign. But first, let us understand the challenges before BBMP. With a population of 84 lakhs, Bengaluru produces roughly 3,175 metric tons of municipal solid waste each day. Every urban household in Bengaluru generates an average of 1.24 kilograms of waste each day. There are seven landfill sites surrounding the city, which contain 21.7 lakh metric tons of unsegregated waste, roughly four times the weight of the Pyramid of Giza. Segregation of waste and waste management at source is the city's biggest challenge right now. A critical step in this regard is citizen engagement. It was towards this end that the IEC or Information Education and Communication focus was adopted by the municipality. To any campaign the most important factor is awareness about the program at all levels of engagement leading to behavioral changes. And this is the approach that BBMP took to involve individuals and NGOs in its programs. Under the IEC campaign, the BBMP has adopted and widely publicized these steps. Two bins, one bag system for segregation of wet, dry and hazardous waste. Encouraging composting by citizens. Reducing use of disposable materials. Collaborating with citizens groups to spread awareness. To reinforce its programs, the BBMP and NGOs in the city have active websites where each of these campaigns are explained in detail, along with short films and helpline numbers. So it begins with a two-bin one-bag kit, which has house numbers written on it. Grow organic food, one has to actually build good soil. And to build a good soil, you need to compost. You need to learn to compost. As a result, Bengaluru has been relatively successful in handling its waste problems. Efforts by citizens' collectives, NGOs and the government have seen around 40% of all households practice segregation of waste at source. Thanks to this, waste to landfills has reduced by a staggering 140 tons per day since 2012. Several like-mind residents came together and began teaching people about waste management and environment-friendly habits. In 2015, the Bruhat Bengaluru Mahanagarapalike joined hands with the collective and other NGOs to promote IEC in a big way. So first thing you do is you do search. And we found SWMRT in Bangalore, which is a, again a group of citizens who had been working in waste since 2008 in Bangalore. Two bin one bag method, you are actually prohibited from lining your bins with a plastic bag. The reason is simple. Uh, after a few days, the plastic lining remains and the bin disappears from below it. And when they move to a bin, so when the person who's picking it up, they can visually look inside and see that the waste is segregated or not. If they don't see segregated waste, they put it in the red. Since it started its IEC campaign in solid waste management, the BBMP has undertaken extensive drives through NGOs and citizen collectives to reach out to the residents of the city. These include street plays, hoardings, advertisements in print media, announcements through auto rickshaws, awareness campaigns in schools, college and offices, and of course, festival management through citizen volunteers. Social sector representatives believe that IEC received a further impetus when BBNP officials started taking an active interest in this campaign. This pushed the segregation of waste from about 20% in the six years since the IEC campaign was started to more than 40% in the last one and a half years. We have a very effective micro plan in Bangalore City 
uh, which was started uh, in the Elanka zone and uh, that was quite successful uh, in the Elanka zone and the same thing was uh, uh, copied for the entire Bangalore city. Basically here uh, what we divide is we divide the ward into uh, a unit of 750 houses and then we give an auto rickshaw and we give a route for that. For example, it is a ward number 10. Then if it is the first 750 houses, we give it as 10 bar 1. If it is the second 750 houses, 10 bar 2. So citizens are aware that you know who is their auto driver and you know who is the uh, person who is coming to collect. And that auto rickshaw will display the number of the engineer as well as the auto rickshaw driver. So that you know people in case he is delayed or he is not coming, they can call him up and find out what is the reason. For example, we have this uh, TOT, uh, Trainers for Training program wherein we have picked up uh, good RWS, we are taking them and you know training them on, on segregation, you know we are using various forums and you know schools and public uh, this one to uh, educate people and also our uh, you know honorable corporators also wherever public functions are happening they are you know uh, disseminating this information to the people. Through IEC, the municipal corporation is aiming at 100% segregation of waste at source by adopting the two-bin, one-bag system. Under this, green bins have been allocated for green waste, red bins for sanitary waste, and bags for dry waste. Corporation also uses IEC to promote individual home composting, community composting, and reducing the use of plastic carry bags, thermocol, and other disposable material. Celebrities like sports personalities and film stars have also been roped in to promote waste segregation. Actually, it's wonderful. Initially, it was very difficult. Even I lost hopes that, you know, is it possible to change the whole area because I was alone. Now the team size has increased. Now it's like uh, we have gone through a lot of hurdles, but very successful now. Uh, initially, it was a team of uh, two people. Now it's 20 people. What we do is uh, three things. One is segregation. Uh, we go to schools, we go to residential areas, layouts, and we do mic announcements. We play PowerPoint presentation and we take our uh, tools to show what is the segregation methodology, our two-bin, one-bag kit and all that. And then when they understand and realize the importance, they'll come out on the ground. We take uh, groups of uh, teams from 7th standard to 10th standard uh, in groups with uh, banners and posters prepared by them, by children, that segregation is important. Save the city, uh, save yourself and all that uh, banner slogans. And we go on the streets in the residential area uh, with mic and all that children will be very uh, you know enthusiastic participating that they're bringing the change there are public groups like hsr citizen forum who have been working tirelessly to spread awareness about waste segregation and promoting composting at source they are working with communities on festival waste management and making sure every aspect is touched upon and people are educated about the importance of waste management. Children study all this in science when they see practically, you know, composting, the waste turning into a black gold. They really get excited and they share that at home. So thousand children in a school, it's addressed, that means thousand families have got this message. So once we give awareness, the next time we follow the autos and see whether people are segregating. If they don't segregate, we give the door numbers to the BBMP officials and they are there to penalize. So they are penalizing and when the people understand that the law is being enforced, they'll you know, fear the law and follow the rules. BBMP has an annual budget of 1.74 crore rupees for IEC activities. Some material being used in IEC campaigns is also sourced from the Citizens Collective. This includes pamphlets and a book using comic characters called Trashonomics. The IEC material has been so successful that social groups have used it across various other cities as well. BBNP has assigned a number of women workers in different wards to educate people about waste management. They regularly discuss and review progress being made in their areas. I am Lakshmi and I am from Ward 7. There are two to three people in each ward. My work is to spread awareness about dengue and chikungunya in schools and communities. 
We talk about segregation of waste to teachers and the students. We tell them to talk about the same to their families and friends. We tell the students to tell their mothers and encourage the students to take the initiative themselves to segregate the garbage in school and at home. Only in this way we can keep schools and the city clean. The group also focuses on children by conducting workshops and other activities as they are the nation's future. Chandni, who is in class 6, is excited about the program and wants to educate her family and friends about what she has learnt. I study in 6th standard at government higher primary school. In garbage, there are three divisions, dry, wet and rejected or sanitary waste. To make Bengaluru's waste management a success story, the municipal corporation is working through a multi-pronged approach. Information, education and communication campaigns are part of this crucial strategy to achieve the mission of a Swachh Bharat.